The third clause is called Asset Management, it is composed of three categories and ten controls, the first category called Responsibility for Assets, deals with assets in relation to information security. The first control is called Inventory of Assets. Having an inventory of assets is something that extends beyond information technology, where all the organization's tangible assets should be inventoried and accounted for. A process for IT inventory and asset management in general is normally defined and crucially recommended in IT management and governance standards and frameworks. An organization should know what assets it owns, their state, their location, who is responsible for them, and their significance to the organization. An inventory record should be created and constantly maintained reflecting the mentioned details. An inventory helps the organization better manage its assets through their life cycle, from creation, or acquiring, to processing or operation, then finally to deletion or destruction. For example, an inventory record would show how many times an asset has been sent to maintenance, and would help in making a decision of whether it provides better value to replace it. Having an asset inventory, allows the organization to generate reports that would help in making decisions about future budgets, maintenance schedules, or stock availability. It is worth noting, that critical assets need to be identified in the inventory, as they need special treatment, and would have a damaging effect on the organization if compromised.